हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स द मोस्ट वेलकम बी बी सी कंप्यूटर ऑनलाइन क्लासेज प्रेजेंटेड बाई रमेश सो कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशन फॉर क्लास सिक्स चैप्टर नंबर वन कैटेगरीज ऑफ कंप्यूटर एंड कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेज सो हेयर स्टूडेंट्स आई एक्सप्लेन यू द कैटेगरीज ऑफ द कंप्यूटर एंड कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेज ओके सो आई एक्सप्लेन यू सो कम हेयर so first of all i explain the generation of a computer okay so over the year of the computer have uh, gone through the many changing okay it means the uh, up to uh, uh, the old one and uh, at the time so many changing in the computers okay like the size base uh, smaller okay speed has increased this appliance has changed so many change also going on that times okay the technology used to the run them have also changed and all the changes are the uh, seems up to refers to the generation so you know the previous one so is large size but that time is also smaller like the smartphone also the part of the computer so many changing okay so what the changing i explain according the generation so students here the i explain the first generation of the computer so first generation of the computer is in 1942 1958 this is a time period so they use vacuum tube this is a most important point the vacuum tube here and calculate data in milliseconds okay this is a time of data for solving the problem so millisecond okay and they consume a large amount of energy energy means the large amount of electric power okay for example like e and i ac computers and u and i b ac univac computers like this so this type of computer is a first generation computer and store the vacuum tube and uh, consume the lot of energy right and size also so big second generation computers 1959 to 1963 they used transistor but here yes here use the transistor but the previous one used the vacuum tube so here use the transistor okay in center of the vacuum tubes they smaller in size as a comparison to first generation first generation is the size so big but the second generation is a smaller uh size as a comparison to first generation they could calculate data is many seconds microsecond yeah previous one is a many seconds uh, but here the microseconds this is also important difference for example ibm 1401 okay and honeywells 200 this is name of second generation computer third generation computer is 1964 to 1970 right so number one use integrated circuit it means the ic in the place of transistors so once again i explain here use the vacuum tube first generation second generation transistor and third generation convert transistor into the ic right so here use the ic integrated circuits and they use the keyboards for inputting and monitor to uh, for outputting so here use the keyboard and monitor also for uh, in third generation and they were the smaller and faster cheaper and more efficient so these are also the smaller and faster also so very good and cheaper also so every person also uh, uh, we can uh, purchase as a comparison to first and second computer example of ibm 30 uh, 360 apples ones right so this is a example of third generation computer fourth generation computer 1971 to till present times okay this is a fourth generation computer so they they use the microprocessor and microprocessor is a very large scale integrated circuit okay that contain the many ic so many ic here so previous one third generation only the one ic but fourth generation use the many ic on a single chip right second 
they are the more powerful and reliable than the computer of previous generation previous means uh, first second thirds okay so these are four generation computer also the uh, uh, the more powerful they use keyboard mouse scanner and so on many input and many output devices like monitor printer speaker and so on many output device also use and many input device also use right so example of ibm pc apple okay so this type of examples of uh, fourth generation computer fifth generation computers so present uh, now okay this also this is advanced computer you can say so number one they will be use the super large scale integrated chips so here you use the super large scale integrated chips right they will be support artificial intelligence so students the artificial intelligence means itself doing the work so you give the command so itself uh, like a uh, human persons uh, doing work so as it is this type of computers also doing the work itself right so they will be have the able to solve the complex problem so yes here is all the very complex problem also we can solve in the fifth generation computer so example of robots satellites okay so robots also self doing the work and satellites so satellite also launch in upside in night sky so okay so the here the requirement of the uh, super fast computers okay so fifth generation computer after then type of the computers so students here the like micro uh, micro computer mini computer sorry mini computers mainframe computer and super computer sorry here the uh, micro computer mini uh, mini computer mainframe computer super computer okay so and mobile computers also so first uh, explain the mobile computer here so it means the mobile computer or the smaller computer designed to to be carry uh, carry around uh, by the user they can be take from place to place okay so mobile computer also the place to place we can transfer uh, they are so user friendly okay light beta also and very convenient okay so every person also purchase and uh, use okay for example like uh, notebook ebook reader tablet smartphone also okay game console uh, console uh, consoles okay the game consoles uh, so a game console is a device used for playing the computer games on a television screen so this is a console uh, game console is a device and with the help of we can play the game on a monitors right embedded computers so a computer that is the integrated into the another device is also called the embedded computer so this also connected to the under another device so like the one computer here and you are doing work in other side so this type of computer is embedded computer it is a perform an specific functions of that the device it is also refer the microcontrollers okay it means the computer is sitting uh, computer uh, standing here uh, uh, is, uh, here and one one place and uh, other person those are working than uh, standing in other place so this type of computer is embedded computers artificial intelligence language this is important point so is the techniques which uh, a machine is made to thinks and take the decision like the human okay so like the human type of machine is artificial like robots are the example of the system work the artificial intelligence it means the robot is the example of the artificial intelligence itself are doing the work just like the human right type of translators so translation means the like one language transfer to the other language so this is uh, this is working of the translator okay translator means that convert one language into the another language 
so like here the three importance uh, translator here like a symbol compiler and interpreters okay so here the three type of translator so here the may uh, <coughs> similar like the machine language compiler and interpreter i explain the difference this is the most important difference between the compiler and interpreter so compiler and interpreter so first of all i explain the compiler so it is perform the translation of a program as a whole okay the whole programs are compiled whole program are compiled compile means run check it is the quicker and interpreter is performs line by line translations so it's solve so line by lines uh of check the error line by line check uh, the uh, line by line check the uh, convert the tr uh, tr translate okay but here the translate all programs full programs all the lines multiple lines or uh, transfer uh, translate with the help of compiler but here the line by line one line second line so this type of working of translator sorry interpreter here the example of programming language such as c and c++ use the compiler but here the python and basic rubs okay so python also use where in interpreters okay write the full forms so you also please you learn the full forms here jpg joint photographs expert group mpg movie picture expert group wmp window media player bma wma window media player midi musical instrumental digit interface mp3 okay mega audio layer 3 wmp window media player pdf portable documents format okay gif graphical interface yeah. okay and some extensions also please you learn okay this is coming in second chapter so okay but uh, but the uh, exam point of view you can learn okay thank you have a nice day